This video will walk you through updating the Raven Viper Pro field computer in your Hagi sprayer. First, you will go to Hagi.com. Clicking on the support tab at the top of the page will bring you to HagiHelp.com. Clicking on the precision tab at the top of the page will bring you to all of the updates available for your Hagi sprayer. Scrolling down, you will find the Raven updates, in this case, Viper Pro. Clicking on the Viper Pro update file will automatically begin the download of the file. You may have to tell your computer that this file is safe, as it is a Windows file. After the file has been downloaded, if you navigate to your Downloads folder, you should see the downloaded file. I will right click and copy the file I just downloaded. Then I will click on the USB drive I've already inserted and paste the file. After the file has been pasted, I need to right click on it and hit Extract All. This will unzip the file. After the file has been unzipped, I will see it show up in the same folder. Inside the unzipped file, I will find a startup file folder. I will right click and copy this folder back to the root of the USB drive I've already inserted. This will be the first page I find on the USB drive. After the startup folder has been copied, I can go ahead and delete both the zipped and the unzipped file I have downloaded from Haggy Help. After both of these are deleted and I only have the startup file on my flash drive with this long list of files inside of it, I am ready to take the USB out to the machine. With your Viper Pro powered on, if you hit Menu down in the lower right hand corner and then Exit and Exit to Menu, you will be taken to the Display Program list for your Viper Pro. Next, insert the USB drive into the front USB on the Viper Pro. After the USB has been updated, you will see the program list flash. Install Viper Pro will now show up as an option. Select Install Viper Pro. This will begin the update process. The first warning you will see will ask if you would like to do a clean install. By clicking OK, the system will do a clean install. This will erase all jobs and data associated in your Viper Pro. If you do not want to do a clean install, simply hit Cancel. Either one will update your Viper Pro one will just do a clean install and one will keep all of your files and settings. After selecting, the Viper Pro will automatically begin the update process. The update process will take a couple of minutes. When the update process is finished, you will see a pop-up saying that the setup file is still on the USB drive. You can select to have the Viper Pro automatically delete this file from your USB or you can hit no and it will not erase the file. You will be brought back to the program selection menu on your Viper Pro. Now you can hit sprayer spreader up at the very top. Your Viper Pro will restart in sprayer spreader mode. If you have chosen to do a clean install, you will need to go through and reset up the Viper Pro. If you do not choose to do a clean install, you are ready to go.